Hi everybody. Today I'm outside again with the power grill and I thought I'd show you how to cook a healthy lunch, a quick healthy lunch, and a few more tips on using the grill. If you'll stand by, we'll get ready. Today I'm going to grill two uh, vegetables which you might not think about grilling. Uh, I've got beets and asparagus. The beets are really very healthy for you. Uh, they're low in calories and they can contain a lot of nitrates which can help you with your blood pressure. The asparagus are even lower in calories and they're full of antioxidants and they contain really a lot of fiber. Now I'm going to clean up the vegetables, I'm going to trim the asparagus and I'm going to cut and peel the beets and get them ready for broiling. I've peeled the beets and cut them into about a quarter inch thick slices and then I'm going to give them a quick marinade uh, with this um, souvlaki marinade that I've got. While they're resting, I'm going to go check on the power grill which I've already got turned on. I brought the beets outside and as you might have noticed these are yellow beets. I decided to choose those just for something different. I'm going to take off the lid of the grill and place the beets on the grill. I'm cooking the, greets, the beets first because they are going to take longer to cook than the asparagus. I've got the beets on the grill. You probably can hear them sizzling. I did turn the temp down to 350. Uh, they're still cooking well. One of the things that I might mention is you notice that I've left uh, space between the beets and it's really important on this grill uh, to make sure that you have enough space so that the air can come up, the heat can come up and cook uh, on all sides. That way the food will cook evenly. Another thing that I do want to say is that the heating element sort of moves like this underneath and so this end does tend to be a little bit cooler. It is hot there but this end, uh, the items will not cook as fast, so I tend to put things that are uh, smaller on this far end. Now I'm going to get finish up and get the asparagus ready and bring it out. I'm cooking the beets first because they're going to take the longest to cook. I trimmed the bottom part, the bottom hard part of the asparagus off, and I'm going to spray them with a little bit of this olive oil spray and then I'm going to salt them a little bit uh, and just let them sit until the beets have cooked. I put the cover back on the grill. Uh, as you might notice I have left some space uh, that way the steam can es escape you'll notice that the inside of the lid does steam up from the cooking vegetables. Now, as I said, outside I don't use the fan, but let's see what happens when the fan goes, when I do turn the fan on. When I do turn the fan on. As you can see, uh, it's starting. the lid is starting to lose some of the steam, it's pulling it away, but I feel better when I'm outside that uh, using just uh, the grill without the fan and I'm going to take the lid off just a little bit. I think it cooks better that way. I've turned the beets over. I just wanted you to see the nice uh, charm marks and the really pretty uh, yellow golden color that we've got. Uh, they're almost ready. Uh, just a couple more minutes and I'm going to take them off of the grill and plate them up and cover them with aluminum foil so that they'll stay warm. I like to leave them so that they're a little bit uh, uh, crunchy yet. Uh, they're cooked but I don't want them to be limp so uh, it be just about another couple of minutes and I'm gonna pull them off. I've taken most of the beets off of the grill 
I've left a couple that I had sliced a little thicker and need a little bit more time but I've already put the asparagus on the grill and as you notice I put the top ends towards the cool side because the tops always cook faster and so uh, I placed them there we're gonna let them I'm gonna put the cover back on and let them cook now if beets and asparagus was all that you thought I would have for my lunch today uh, I've got a little surprise for you uh, it's been almost a month or maybe more since I've had a hamburger and certainly not a hamburger from uh, any fast food place um, so uh, I am making a hamburger because some of you have asked me how the hamburgers cook on the grill and I decided to try it out myself so the hamburger is uh, quickly grilling uh, you probably can hear it and see that the juice is coming out. Uh, I put it in the middle of which is the hottest place. And as you can see, this is a pretty good sized uh, burger. Uh, if you're going to use this size, uh, you probably, which is about four inches or a little bit bigger, uh, you're probably only going to be able to put about four of them on your grill. Uh, if they're a bit smaller, you'd probably be able to cook six at one time. So, while they're cooking, uh, let's take a look at the plated up beets and asparagus. So here we've got the beets and asparagus and they uh, look really uh, nice. So let's give them a taste. Mmm. Really tasty from the olive oil and a little bit of salt. and. Just enough bite there to them, and you get the grill taste all over them. And now let's try the beets. See the nice grill marks on them? Nice little crunch to them left, but they're fully cooked. Sweet. Beets have a lot of sugar in them, but in this warm, they're not that bad for you. And there's a lot of fiber, a lot of vitamins. I totally recommend grilled beets. While munching on those beets, the one side got finished. And as you can see, the nice grill marks on the burger. Of course, it has shrunk a little bit in size as it's cooked down. But it's still a good size to it. And you can see we still got the juices that are... Uh, running out of it. So I'm going to put the lid back on top of it and let it finish cooking. I've taken the burger off the grill and I've got it on plated up. As you can see the nice grill marks. Uh, let's cut into it and see how that looks. Completely done. Now some of you may like your burgers a bit more rare but I prefer mine cooked all the way through you still got nice juice to it okay let's see how it tastes mm, I have to say that was good uh, sorry folks uh, the camera person screwed up the shot but the burger tasted really really tasty so there you have it folks that's a quick lunch on the power grill I hope you enjoyed that and maybe learned a little bit uh, if you like this video, if you could give it a like down below, or if you'd like to subscribe to the channel itself, go ahead and do that also below. I re really appreciate you stopping by, and we'll see you again soon. Nos vemos!